Hello, this is Sam from Papa Sam's Kitchen. I'm going to show you a soup that is falling to a US market. It's a soup that would be a good addition to your Thanksgiving dinner because pomegranate in the soup helps the heartburn that you get from having too much turkey. The soup has a couple of different ingredients, the dry, dry ingredient. One of them is chickpeas. Is a chickpeas is a yellow uh, lagoon uh, high on nutrition. Uh, you so, uh, you use uh, half a cup of uh, chickpeas. You soak them two hours before you start your cooking. The second ingredient would be um, basmati rice. Basmati rice is a high grain of rice. You uh, you do the same thing. You soak them two hours before. before first you wash them and soak them in the water. And then um, the other ingredient is a dry ingredient, uh, the three different spices that we use in pomegranate. And you use uh, uh, half a teaspoon on, uh, from everything, except you use more, uh, more of the uh, salt. Uh, there is a pepper, uh, I grind them before I use them. And then uh, the turmeric is a, a yellowish uh, spice that is very high in uh, antioxidant and uh, it gives a, a good flavor and good color to your uh, food and uh, salt, uh, use sea salt. You need butter for uh, sauteing onion, the butter, uh, either butter or um, uh, olive oil would be perfect, uh, you need uh, three tea, uh, tablespoons of that. Then we have the, uh, the fresh ingredient, we have uh, 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 herbs which is parsley, coriander, um, some mint, you don't have to use fresh mint, you, you can use dry mint, uh, some spinach, uh, and you, what you do, you grind, uh, you put that, all of that in a blender uh, or chop them, and then that's one of the ingredients, and also you, use, you need one whole red onion, you chop them, uh, and you get them ready, you have to saute them, I'm going to show you how to, how to put all of these together. And then you need three or four cloves of uh, garlic that give them a good uh, authentic uh, a flavor uh, to your fruit. What we do from here, we uh, uh, get the chickpeas and cook them in a separate pot. Cook them maybe 15, uh, 5 to 15 minutes until it gets soft. And uh, so we, when you taste them, it be soft. And then um, the rice is already soaked and already clean. You put four cups of water in a pot and you bring the water to boil, add a pinch of uh, salt and you add your, uh, you add your uh, rice to the, to the pot and let them, let them boil. And then the next step, what you do is you come here and you get your uh, garlic and onion that they already uh, made them, chopped them. You uh, put your three teaspoon, a tablespoon of butter or uh, olive oil and you saute them. Saute them takes five, three, four, five minutes in a low temperature. Don't let the uh, oil smoke because then it uh, lose flavor. And then you add this ingredient also to your rice. Let it cook. And when you are when you are sauteing the uh, sauteing the onion, you add your spices. The spices was garlic, salt, and turmeric which are already added to that. You saute them all together and you add it to the rice. And you stir the rice in a, in a little higher temperature first and let it start cooking for 20 minutes. After you did this, you are going to have your herbs, that which was one fourth of a cup spinach, one fourth of a cup parsley, one fourth of a cup a coriander and some mint. You add them all in the with the soup. Let them all cook together and you can stir them a little bit and see how long it's gonna take to for the uh, rice to get softened. 
you don't add the chickpeas until the end. So you cook all of these together and then when the, when the rice uh, is already cooked uh, enough, you, you add one whole beet that you already uh, steamed it. You use one of the little steamer, uh, you put the water here and you start cooking. When it's ready, it's gonna look very fresh and you grind it. And this is my, this is my beet. The purpose of using beet is that first it gives a very good color, pomegranate color to your soup and also because it has some natural sugar, you don't have to use sugar as much to uh, sweeten your pomegranate. So we have this one, we are going to add this as soon as this is started cooking. We have, we have the fresh pomegranate here. This is for the end when everything is ready, when you put them in a really nice bowl and you're bringing on your Thanksgiving dinner, you garnish them with some of this pomegranate. We have to use some pomegranate sauce or pomegranate molasses for the soup. You can add that toward the end. You can use them started from one fourth of the cup. If you use uh, mala uh, pomegranate sauce, you don't use them as much. But then we also have pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate molasses, you have to use more, but you don't have to add sugar as much. So you add these to toward the end. Okay. To go over everything again, is we soak our we first we soak our uh, rice and our uh, chickpeas separate from each other then we bring the four cups of water in the pot we add our rice let it cook when is and then we have all of the herbs uh, the four different herbs that we use we chop them in one of the blenders and we add them to the soup let them cook. All takes about 20-25 minutes to cook. And we have our beet here, the steaming and cooking. When they got ready, we grind them that are already dead dust. And then we add this to the, to the end. When everything is cooked, then we, we add our pomegranate. We taste them uh, after you put that, and it's gonna be a little bit sour. If you like sour, you don't, add, add, you don't have to add too much sugar. But adding one third of a cup sugar to that, it may give us a fruity taste. You want to go check that, you can go to Austin Chronicle uh, issue uh, 2006 and, uh, and check the parse. Uh, they, they, there is an article about the, the soup that I used to make, which is very fruity and very tasty, unlike any other soup is full of nutrition and also is uh, has a great flavors. Uh, if you have any question, um, you can watch the video again. You uh, can check uh, my uh, YouTube uh, Sam uh, Papa Sam uh, Kitchen, and I will be adding uh, more videos of food tips on cooking. And guys, hey, let's help the ladies cook some food and be very uh, good for your stress and uh, they will love you for that. Have a great day, have a great Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner.